Welcome to the World of Warcraft Survival Guide for Rise of Ashara, the latest content update for Battle for Azeroth. In this video, we'll take a look at the new features and changes coming in Rise of Ashara. After being ambushed by Queen Ashara, you'll find yourself in the brand new zone, Najjatar. Here, you'll have to find new combat allies and gain a foothold to prepare for an epic confrontation with Queen Ashara and her fearsome forces. Adventurers who are level 120 and have unlocked World Quest will receive a summon from either Gen Greymane or Nathanos Blightcaller to kick off the events that bring them to Najatar. Even in the face of imminent threat from Queen Ashara, tensions between the Alliance and Horde still boil beneath the waves as factions battle over territory in Najatar. Every three hours, this war mode only World Quest urges players to work with their allies to capture and hold five objective points. The winning faction will be rewarded with Najjatar Battle Commendations that can be exchanged for items including War Banners and the Ink Scale Deep Seeker Seahorse Mount. While slaying enemies in Najjatar, players can loot Benthic Tokens. These are bind on account items that can be used to create gear which grants bonuses in Najjatar and the upcoming Ashara's Eternal Palace raid. Benthic Armor can be further upgraded using a new currency, Prismatic Mana Pearls, which is found while adventuring in the zone. After your setup in Najjatar, you'll receive word of a new discovery, Mechagon Island, the lost home of the Mechanomes. There, you'll meet the Rustbolt Resistance and join their fight to stop the tyrannical King Mechagon. Along the way, you'll participate in new daily quests and other activities unique to Mechagon, such as junkyard tinkering, which lets you assemble equipment, toys, consumables, and mounts, including the new X995 Mechanocat. You'll also get to build your very own trinket, the pocket-sized computation device, which can be customized with red, yellow, and blue punch cards. Rise of Ashara includes a major overhaul to the Azerite system, with the introduction of essences to the Heart of Azeroth. As your Heart of Azeroth increases in power, you'll be able to infuse it with essences, which grants you powerful new active and passive abilities. Essences can be earned from various types of gameplay, and you can mix and match them to best suit your playstyle. More difficult challenges provide more powerful essences, and the highest ranks grant a cool, unique spell effect. The skies of Kul Tiras and Zandalar will soon be open. To unlock flight in all Battle for Azeroth zones, you will need to explore Mechagon and Najatar, earn revered reputation with the Rustbolt Resistance and your new Najatar allies, and have completed Battle for Azeroth Pathfinder Part 1. As an additional reward, you'll receive the mechanical Parrot Mount, Wonderwing 2.0. Heritage Armor is now available for Gnomes and Tauren. Tauren, who have completed the latest chapter of the War Campaign and are exalted with Thunderbluff, can begin their Heritage Armor quest at the Embassy in Orgrimmar. Similarly, gnomes who are exalted with Gnomeregan can begin their quest at the Embassy in Stormwind. Rise of Ashara also introduces Mount Equipment, which grants all of your mounts a unique benefit, such as more speed, daze prevention, a parachute, or water walking. You can craft Mount Equipment with enchanting, tailoring, or leatherworking, or just buy it on the auction house. And of course, there's so much more coming with Rise of Ashara, such as professions updates, a brand new Robodrome PvP arena, updates to the transmog system, a new pet battle dungeon, two new islands, and a new chapter of the war campaign. And that's just the beginning. We'll meet you here in a few weeks to discuss the start of Season 3 of PvP and Mythic Keystone Dungeons, including the new Mythic-only dungeon, Operation Mechagon, and of course, Ashara's Eternal Palace. Keep an eye on worldofwarcraft.com for more details on upcoming content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the front lines.